नमस्ते जय हिंद एंड वेलकम इट लुक्स सो नाइस विद आर डिजाइन टीम वर्किंग दीज ग्राफिक्स ऑफ द नेक्स्ट फिफ्थ जेन स्टेल्थ फाइटर दी एम का एयरक्राफ्ट दैट्स गोइंग बी डेवलप्ड बाय भारत इन आर स्टूडियोज इमेजिन वेन इट गोज लाइव एंड द रियल वन रोल्स आउट ready to defend our skies this is a significant push towards enhancing bharat's air power and indigenous defense capabilities raksha mantri rajnath singh has approved the advanced medium combat aircraft program or the amca program the fifth generation fighter aims to rub shoulders with the fifth generation fighters of other nations like that of russia the us and china bharat's air dominance in the region will perhaps be enhanced in trying to tackle the pakistani threat and also the chinese supply of weapons bharat showcased the power of its weapons during operation sindur crippling the terror camps and pakistan's air defenses and even tackling pakistani drones and missiles from causing damage on bharat soil the aeronautical development agency is set to execute the program through industry partnership with a roll out expected in 2035 we are very sincerely hoping as a country that it is sooner than later Here's a deep dive. Bharat's fifth gen fighter mission, it's got to have a max speed of uh, 1.8 mark or nearly two times the speed of sound. There will be five prototypes which are in development. The induction is expected by 2035. Two squadrons, 80 jets. It's going to be a stealth aircraft. China's J-20, J-31 and supply to park fuel threat. It's key for covert ops and tackling enemy defenses. It's got a low RCS, that means radar detection system, and it can fire. It a you know beat low. It will be seen only when it is in close distance. It can't be spotted from afar. So stealth capabilities. The missile load is about four to six. It'll be in service by 2035. It'll have features like advanced avionics, sensor fusion, network warfare, and also it will be nuclear tipped. it is going to be taking on the likes of the su57 f22 and of course uh, the j20 chengdu but it's a big boost big big boost to atmanirbhar bharat in defense it will have multi role functions it can do dog fights although current day dog fights are from a distance from far away they can have punitive strikes it will be also capable in electronic warfare and it will be able to carry at least 5 to 6 uh, payloads nuclear tip for sure but more importantly the most uh, most advanced let's also understand as we wheel this out uh that this also puts bharat on right at bank center of the military military industrial complex india russia usa china let's try and compare and contrast uh, these uh aircraft and across these countries let's go a little big on that it's got a max speed of 1.8 mark so tad slower compared to the russian su57 and what the capabilities of the f22 have but it's almost at par with the j20 chengdu the other aspect uh, as far as the fifth gen tech is concerned as we move forward is to understand the stealth capabilities it's got almost identical uh, stealth capabilities with some of the others very low rcs this will be on a low, low radar uh, detection system so it will have stealth functions but most importantly bharat can tailor make it for to suit its needs it does not need to uh, let its tech specs be with another nation's aircraft manufacturer even if it is a government to government deal the missile load again very similar uh, the chinese uh, j22 can carry more payload in terms of 6 to 8 missiles we'll have 4 to 6 similar to the su57 the the us ones can carry up to 8 but then their distance coverage is also limited because of the load on the aircraft itself by 2035 it will be pressed into service we are a little behind russia already has its su57 in service since 2020 uh, the us has its f22 since 2003 2005 and the f22 j22 begya said the j20 is in service since 2017 in fact the chinese and the us have moved to the f35s and the j35s with higher stealth capacity but this is our own tech and that's what we need to be very proud of akash sharma gets us this report from ground zero and this is a model this is how our own fifth gen stealth fighter will look very very soon in a major push to india's atmanirbharta approach in the defense sector Raksha Mantri Rajnath Singh has approved 
the execution model of MCA program. MCA program is India's fifth generation fighter aircraft program which stands for Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft. Till now we have seen all the developments in papers, documents and the news. But now the development will start on ground because we are expecting an expression of interest in some days from now. It has been made very clear that this program and in fact the development will not be limited to public sector undertakings only. This time it can be an equal opportunity for both private industry and public sector undertakings. In fact, there can be a joint venture that would be working for the development of MCA aircraft. We know that how in uh, several exhibitions uh, we have seen the prototype model and in fact uh, the developments that have happened till now. The prototype of course is expected by 2027 and the actual aircraft and the deliveries are expected by 2036. We know that how DRDO is the lead agency and ADA which is an arm of DRDO is working on the entire project. Till now officials say that timelines are on track and by 2036 we can expect that MCA would be a reality and in fact the prototype will be seen by 2027 but having seen Sindur in fact the operation Sindur we know that how critical and important this project is going to be for Indian Armed Forces we know that how a fifth generation aircraft is something that Indian Armed Forces need at this point in time and given the fact that Indian Air Force as of now have aircraft like Rafale, Su-30 MKI and Mirage so they of course need a fifth generation fighter aircraft and having one indigenous aircraft is an advantage in itself. At this point in time while CCS has already approved the execution Rakshamanti Rajna Singh has further approved and now it will be formalized that how public sector undertakings and private entities are coming together to work on the development of this MCA program that is going to be reality for Indian Armed Forces by 2036. Well, we'd like it sooner than later, another 11 years before this program because uh, there are nations which are ahead of us and they will be moving perhaps to far more advanced programs. So we will have to, as a nation, make multiple technological leaps. But at least there is intent. Let's, let's put uh, let's hope there is more might and more interest shown by the private sector in this partnership works and allows us to perhaps jump one or two gen before to get